Rupert, you use Hypermill software from Open Mind, and you've recently purchased this software in conjunction with this new machine here you've got from Asquith Butler. What do you like about the Hypermill software, and why, why did you buy it? What was the need? Uh, the need was really uh, to be able to convert some of our clients or send us step models of you know, whatever particular component it is that they want us to produce for them. Uh, and we find that the Hypermill uh, software is very good at understanding that and turning it into the, into the CAM instruction that the Heidenhain controller uses to, to make the part. Could you do what you do here without that type of software? Could you program the parts at this control? Would it take you a lot more time? Would it be a lot more difficult? It would be phenomenally difficult given the complexity of some of these parts. Uh, simple programs, you know, a simple square with four holes, a diameter, a radius, those sorts of things. We've got a cap capability to be able to program that at the machine and, and produce a simple component like that. But when you're getting into much more intricate components, you really need something like Hypermill to give you the, uh, you know, to find a way through that uh, successfully. And with the Hypermill software, do you use it if you're looking at a new job or you're you're trying to cost out how something, how long something's going to take? Do you use it to find out find out the timescales involved? Yeah, more and more so now. Originally, you know, we had nothing better than a than a grab a number out of the air, but we're getting a little bit more experience at this now. We can use the simulation in the uh, feature in the Hypermill to give us a much more accurate. Uh, and would you, would you be amazed at how much time you can save by using CAM software on a machining process? Oh yeah, without a doubt. Uh, it gives us the confidence that actually what we're going to put on the machine, we know what we're going to get off the machine before we, before we even start the work. Were you involved directly with the purchase of this software? Because I know there is a lot of CAM providers out there and it's often interesting to find out the main reasons why one was selected. Now that was all done by John Drakeley, who I think you'll be speaking with later. Um, so he, he went away and they decided that this was, the right, uh, this was the right package for us. And I've got to say, I've got no issues with it at all. Sometimes when companies buy new CAM systems, they do it based on sort of employees in the business having used a certain CAM system. That wasn't the case here, was it, for yourselves? No, we had uh, no employees at the point when we needed to acquire a CAM piece of software that had experience of other, other pieces, so it was a clean sheet for us. And, and why, did, why, in your eyes, did you select the Hypermill product? So it was a combination of their location. We knew because it was something new to, to the business and, and new staff that we needed the support and they're only in Vista up the road. And also it came on recommendation uh, while we were acquiring other machines from, from Mazak. And, and what made you think you needed CAM software as well? This is an, an, an interesting one because, you know, why, why does somebody go from having a machine shop like yours when you're just breaking into new mm. boundaries with machines that you actually need CAM as well? Why did you want it? Yeah, so our first acquisition of, of machine tools included a, a five-axis, full five-axis machine, so I600 uh, vary axis from Mazak. So at that point, to get best utilisation out of the machine, we knew we needed a piece of CAM software from the start. And I think it will be interesting to come back here in time because you haven't really got any historic parts that you can look at and go, this took us X to program and now it's Y, have you? No, we haven't. No, we've got no datum to compare to, um, but it's, it's working well for us at the moment.